finish off question two, we need to find FG, which is this hypotenuse of the larger right triangle on the right hand side. Uh, I'll just go ahead and call that Y. Okay, so now it's a right triangle, this other right triangle. It's going to focus the reference angle is, is G this time instead of E. Okay, and we know H. We have that value stored into the calculator, and we're trying to find Y. This is still the opposite side, but this time of G, and this is the hypotenuse. O over H is sine. The sine of G equals H, which I have stored in the calculator, over Y, which I'm trying to find. When Y, when the variable is on the bottom, which you're trying to find, remember the shortcut is just to switch those things out. So Y is equal to H divided by the sine of G. H divided by sine of G. Hit enter. Already rounds it off to, for me. 232.40. 232.40. Question is, do I have to write that zero down if it's a zero in the hundreds place? I'm going to say, yeah, why don't you go ahead and do that? All right, last one I need to find is GH. GH is the last segment in this right-hand right triangle. Let's call it a Z. Right? I have um, still the opposite side was the H stored in my calculator. The Z here is the adjacent side. That is the let's see, O and A. That's the tangent ratio. So tangent of G equals the opposite side, which is H, stored in my calculator over Z, which I'm trying to find. Notice that this is looks like the same kind of equation. I'm going to switch these things out again. I'm going to have H divided by tangent of G this time. So again, if I realize this in the calculator, I can just pull up that entry again, change the sign to a tangent. Hit enter, and my last length is 221.51. Now, it makes sense to just take a, a second or two to look at your numbers and see if they make sense in the picture. Does it make sense that, for example, that GH 221.51 is smaller than Y, which is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, 232? And yeah, it does. And the same thing on the other side, that both of these pieces, which I called X and H, are both smaller than 101.06 because they're the hypotenuse of their own right triangle. So all that stuff makes sense. So stay tuned for the uh, question number three. It's super fun.